<laughs> Wilson. What? Wilson. Wilson. On home improvement. On home improvement. That's all you see is it. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to Wilson. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Dwayne, and today I am on a mission. I'm getting ready to start working on our roof, and I'll show you how the roof looks. Um, it is starting to deteriorate, uh, it's starting to bubble, and so I contacted the company. They sent me the materials. So today I'm gonna start collecting stuff for that. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. If you have not subscribed yet, please do. It helps the channel greatly. Thank you so much for you guys who have already subscribed and have rung the bell and all that. Guys, we are having a ball and we want to take you with us. So come on, let's go look for some stuff. Okay, I got this roll and it is the vinyl insert for, it goes around the edge or the trim of the RV and it hides the screws that attach the railing that holds on the membrane. Okay, so I was able to get that that vinyl trim stuff. So I'm not gonna do too much digging into what I need today. But this camera looks different. I'm trying something new. Uh, so let me know how the two cameras did or look. I know one was closer up and this one's not. But uh, I'm gonna go and go ahead and start working on taking some of the trim off all that kind of stuff because today is Wednesday. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. And then Friday, we are going to get to tearing something up. Uh, and I hope that's in a good way. <laughs> uh, Ken's going to help me. He's got a, a, a inside, uh, a big garage so we can take the camper inside and work on it. So hang out with me on this journey, guys. It's going to be a tough one. But I think we can, I think we can do it. Well, I'm getting ready to get started, guys. I'm gonna get up here, take this side trim off, I'll show you that. We're gonna start there, then we're gonna work our way around. So, let's go. Oh, let me show you what's happening. See right here, these spots, that's happening on a lot of the roof. Um, and right here, you can see where this is coming off. Might want to check yours. It dry rots after a while. And it should be a simple replacement. <laughs> Overall, the roof looks pretty good. But I'll go ahead and show you one part. I don't know if you can see right here. It looks like the desert it's really dry and then up here up here everything looks pretty good but there's a wrinkle a bad bad wrinkle you probably can't see it Right here is separated from the rest of the camper. And it's, it bulges when you go down the road. So I don't know if air is getting under it or just the negative pressure. You can see it stretched over there on that side. 
and over here. But the fact that, see, you get really chalky and it's, it's just, uh, you can almost rub it at times and it comes, starts to fall apart. So I'm gonna get to work. I think I might replace that antenna. It's an old mechanical with a, just a new stationary one. I'm not sure just yet. First things first. guys I moved inside because all of these uh, covers that go over air conditioner uh, the vents all of that stuff has to come off so I'm gonna try to get another head start and go ahead and take those things off before we get started working on uh, the top ready to get started we're gonna start on the side with those screws and then work our way up okay y'all that's the bathroom skylight then up front here we got the cap off well not the cap but the front parts coming off and we are moving right along but very slowly Okay, y'all. We got everything uh, off. Yeah. Everything off. Now we're just cleaning up. Okay guys, day two. So, we're gonna get ready to get started today. We're gonna try to get everything taped up, prepared for the actual applying of the adhesive. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take you inside and get started. Okay y'all, we got the membrane on now it's not finished 
scraped up there. We're getting ready to start the crucial part, which is uh, doing all of the glue. All right, we got the glue on one half. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, we're not rolling and all that at the same time. <laughs> Wilson. What? Wilson. Wilson. On home improvement. On home improvement. That's all you see. Is <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to Wilson. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All he needs is a hat. Well, guys, it's coming together. Looks more like a roof now. I will say that you should not try this at home. We are not professionals. And uh, it's been an experience. We're not finished, finished yet. But that's what it looks like. We got a little bit more to go. Okay, guys, it's day three. And we have run into a issue ordered some gaskets well we're going to replace the gasket on the ac uh they this one is the old one that we took off the new one that i ordered well of course it wasn't right it was a generic one and it was shy of the inches that it needed to be by a half inch all the way around so this is one tip uh if you can and you just order the old the, the original stuff if you can because it saves you some days because now we're behind we're going to be put behind till we get what we need just tip uh other than that everything else is going good ken is over here recycling <laughs> screws for me you save on screws but everything else is going good. We're getting ready to put some more stuff on the top. All is not lost. All just slowed down a little bit. <laughs> Herbie's hiding. He's somewhere in there hiding. Where'd you go? <laughs> He's gone. He was. <laughs> well, y'all, we made a little bit of headway today. Uh, after didn't get the right gasket for the air conditioners so we're waiting on them but let me see if I can get up here and the TV antenna is going to go up I'm going to put one that doesn't have to go up We'll put the edge, the white edge on there. Got that in there on both sides. And we've started doing some uh, caulking. So it's coming together. But this is what it's all about. On it, Ken. <laughs> you, told, you told me to be careful, and I put my hand right on it. Dag, don't it? Well, this is a gives you another look from the back. Make sure you put that and in the uh, you got yeah. some vents on there. And starting to put some sealant down. It's coming together. Hey guys, how you doing? We got another day of working on the RV. This has been a, a interesting trip. I like working with my hands. I like uh, building things. Doing this 
it's, it can be kind of stressful, but it can be rewarding too. And uh, I've got two guys that have really jumped in there and helped me a whole lot. They, man, you know, this building, uh, Ken let me use the building. We haven't been in a rush, but just to give you an idea of some of the things that can happen, uh, not supply chain issues, but you know, you order something, you think it's right, it's not right. Uh, then trying to get stuff now is a little bit more difficult. Uh, so that has actually slowed us down. But I can imagine now how dealers feel because some of them are trying to get stuff out. They may not have the right part. They may not be able to get get it on time, you know, in a timely manner. They may not have it in stock. And those kind of issues, you know, we, we're sitting there going, okay, look, I want my I want my camper or my car or something. And they have to wait until they get the part. You know, this whole thing has kind of opened my eyes to being a little bit more patient with people and with situations and uh, when somebody's working on not and, and I'm not saying that's always the case sometimes it's just uh, demand and it's slow and it's you know could be a number of things but it, it really has shown me to really think about things like that as far as being patient with situations not letting situations get to me um, so we're gonna go in here and work some more we got some other things that we can do while we wait on some part and you know he and I can fellowship together and just have a good time that's the one good thing i like about being retired uh now is that i'm finding that i'm uh not in a rush i don't have to, i don't have so many deadlines as long as i get this done before we go to tennessee hey i'm good all right let's go to work okay we're at it again today we're getting ready to put air conditioners on finally got the gasket in this is the high-tech air conditioner lifter thing that we're going to use. like we are done on the top everything looks to be in place everything up front here has been tightened down tested wired and on the back we're finishing up the the rear AC we just put it in it's being wired so now we're gonna move to the last two pieces which are the corners and that's it well we are on the way home it is done me and the camper are uh, going down the road and so once I get home I'll double check make sure that the roof didn't go anywhere I don't think it is feel pretty confident about it but just to kind of give you an update on how it went everything went great other than uh, getting parts for things uh, of course we have you know experience hiccups here and there I uh, worked with two great guys Herbie and Ken who I've worked with on the patrol uh, we worked most of our careers together in one capacity or the other and I trust them and I know that they would give me their all uh, I mean I thank Ken for letting me keep the, the camper in his garage and keep it covered and we worked in there in the great conditions uh, you know Herbie with his knowledge of uh, Electrical, electrical work and stuff like that and 
just a willingness to, to do it. They both poured out a lot of energy and time. And I really, really, really appreciate that, guys. Uh, Y'all don't know how much this meant to me. Um, so, get home, double check it again, uh, just to give you an idea of what it looks like out in the light. And uh, man, we're ready to go camping again. So, we got one more thing that we're gonna do. I'm waiting on one more part, and that will be the end. Everything will be shut closed and good to go so we'll see you in a little while well everybody we made it home and had the wind test nothing came off we are just i'm just checking it just just for curiosity see if anything is looks out of place and it does not so i'm glad this this part is over but it looks good. It looks good. So guys, this is the end of this video. Uh, man, uh, it was a, a good a good experience. And uh, I wanna say, we really appreciate you guys coming on and watching us with the different things that we do with traveling and campers and all that kind of stuff. But we really appreciate your support. We just, uh, at the time of this video, we just reached 3,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. Thank you for supporting us. And if you are new and you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, we want to encourage you to subscribe. I know this video was not for everybody, but that's part of our channel, all about us. So as we always say, enjoy the journey on the way to your destination. So take care and God bless. We'll see you on the next video.